Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, and to those that have stuck around for me for, for a long time, thanks for sticking around. There are some people who seem to be under the impression that over this past month or so that I've become some radical liberal, and, and no, not really. Okay, I see both sides. I see that there are women who hate men. There are feminists who hate men. There are a lot of radical ideologies that are pretty much anti-men. They're out there. But there's also the ideologies that have been rather traditional in nature that that kind of hate women, or they think that women should be second-class citizens, or that, and then they don't see it that way. They, they see it, oh no, they're very important, yeah, but, but you think that women should essentially be more docile or controllable, or that they should be subservient to men, especially subservient to their husbands, you know? Eh. Uh, to me, that's, that pretty much translates to hating women, as far as I'm concerned. You know, you, you think that they should be comfortable being considered less than men, you know? There are black people who hate white people. There are ideologies out there that even some white people cling on to that hate white people, okay? But there's also the obvious that's been around for a long time where, where people hate black people, okay? There are, there are gay people who hate straight people, but there's also straight people who hate gay people, straight people who say that uh, gay people are degenerates and that sort of thing, and, peop and religious people who think that gay people will burn in hell for eternity, that sort of thing. Okay, there's, there's hate on all sides, but the hate that causes the most damage is hate that comes from either the majority demographic or hate that comes from the most powerful demographic. Okay, that's the most hurtful. It's, it's harder for people who are not in the majority or who don't have power to get out of these ruts that they're put into by the oppression from the majority demographic or the, the most powerful demographic. It's harder. It's more hurtful. It's more damaging. And that's why I think it's more important to call that kind of thing out than the other way around doesn't mean that we shouldn't call out the other way around, but I think it's more important to call out when the majority or more powerful demographic are doing oppressive things or saying oppressive things. That's just my take on it. Maybe you feel differently, but if, if, if you think that uh, we should point them out equally, uh, give a reason as to why. If the damage isn't, isn't equal on, on both sides, then... Why do you think they should be said equally? Just curious. Thanks.